We'd now like to welcome our 2017 Rolex Junior Player of the Year to the stage. From Memphis, Tennessee, and committed to Stanford University, Rachel Heck. Thank you, Sadie and Michaela. I remember the first time we played PGA National. It was 2015, and we were eighth graders. The three of us ran around like total fangirls after our idols. Players like Andrea Lee, a Stanford commit, and Hannah O'Sullivan, the 2015 Rolex Junior Player of the Year. Watching them that week and watching Hannah give her speech, I told myself that was going to be me someday. I didn't think two years later it would actually happen. That week, I remember playing great the first round, but then missing the cut after a miserable second round. But most importantly, I remember the two of you waiting for me on 18th green to hug me as I cried. You both taught me an incredible lesson, that it's not all about the golf, but about the memories that come from these moments. Last year, at the KPMG Stacey Lewis Junior All-Star Invitational, the blessings got the best of me. I played terribly. But at that tournament, I met a girl named Lauren Miller. She not only became one of my best friends, but an amazing role model for me as a true Christian. I may have left that week really upset with my golf game, but I also left with a best friend, and I would not trade that week for anything. This year, at the Thunderbird International Junior, on the final hole of the last day, I had a share of the lead. Number 18 is a par five, with the green protected by water. So naturally, I went for it in two, and hit it right into the water, to come in second for the second tournament in a row. However, when I look back on that week, that's not at all what comes to mind. I remember the endless ping pong games, glow in the dark putting contests, and way too many milkshakes. The AJGA has given me so much more than golf. People have asked me how it feels to win this award so young. All I can say is that I'm so happy it means my time on the AJGA isn't even close to being over. From my first event as a 12 year old, when I was put on the clock and cried the entire rest of the round, to tonight, when I have the honor to stand here as the Rolex Junior Player of the Year, it has been an incredible journey. Because of the AJGA, I have met the most amazing people, made the best memories, and committed to my dream college. The AJGA has truly changed my life, and I cannot thank you enough. I would also like to thank Rolex for your investment in junior golf. It is such a privilege to play in tournaments like these and be a part of this wonderful evening and it would not be possible without your generous support. Winning my first AJGA Invitational at the Rolex Girls Junior Championship will always be very special to me. Mom and Dad, I cannot thank you enough for your constant support and encouragement and all the sacrifices you have made for me. Abby and Anna, thank you for dealing with me every weekend when I would come jump on your beds early in the morning and beg you to get up for golf. And lastly, to my coach, Rob Akins. Thank you so much for believing in me. Your wisdom and guidance have truly helped me become a better person, and your endless stories have deepened my love and respect for the game of golf. And to all the players here tonight, I have some advice. I'm not gonna stand up here and tell you to keep working hard. You made it here. You're already working hard. What I do want to say, is don't let your happiness depend on your golf game. No matter what, find time to put down the clubs and run around the hotel with your friends looking for a ping pong table. Find time to beat the guys in some putting contests. Find time to play what are the odds by the hotel pool. Find time to make friends and memories that will stay with you forever. Don't let your score determine your happiness because I promise that's not what you're going to remember at the tournament's end. Thank you.